Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and configure an autopilot deployment profile with Microsoft Intune. This is the fourth part of the mini video series on Windows autopilot deployment. Till now, we have manually registered device with autopilot and created autopilot test device group. In the last video, we have created new enrollment status page profile and assign it to our autopilot test device group. After we have created a device group, we can apply a Windows autopilot deployment profile to each device in the group. Deployment profile determine the deployment mode and customize the UB for our end users. We can create autopilot profile using Microsoft Admin Center, Engine Portal and Intune Graph. For Intune managed devices, pre-provisioning, self-deploying and core management profile can only be created and assigned in Intune Portal. So in this video, we will use Intune Portal to create a new autopilot deployment profile. Autopilot deployment profiles are used to configure the autopilot devices. We can create up to 350 profiles per tenant. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com On home page, click on Devices. Under Device Enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. Under Windows Autopilot Deployment Program, click on Deployment Profiles. Click on Create Profile and then select Windows PC. On the Create Profile page, specify the name for the autopilot profile. We have given name Taste Autopilot Deployment Profile for this profile. We have also added description for this profile as well. Leave the convert all targeted devices to autopilot set to no. If we set the value to yes, then this setting makes sure that all devices in the assigned groups get registered with the autopilot deployment service, which will take up to 48 hours for processing. Remember, personally owned devices won't be converted to autopilot. Click on Next. On the out-of-box experience UB page, we need to select deployment mode. Deployment mode controls if a user need to provide credentials in order to provision the device. There are two options in Windows Autopilot profile types. Based on the requirement, we need to decide which will best fit to our organization. Now let me show you the both options. Here we have those options, user-driven and self-deploying preview. At the time of this video recording, the second option, self-deploying, is still in preview mode. In this example, we will go with user-driven option. Devices with this profile are associated with the user enrolling the device. User credentials are required to enroll the device. Leo joined to Azure AD as set to Azure AD joined. Take your pointer over tooltip to get more information about each settings. For example, if you want to know more about this setting, you just need to take your pointer over this tooltip. For example, if you want to know about user account type setting, then take your pointer over tooltip and here you can read brief over your information about that setting. Since this is our taste environment, we are going to leave the remaining settings to the default. Click next to continue. On the assignments page, choose selected groups to assign this profile. Under included groups, click on add groups. 
from the list select autopilot test devices group which we have created in earlier videos click on select click next to continue on the review plus create page click on create to create the autopilot deployment profile with configured settings click on create we can see two confirmation messages that profile created and assigned successfully okay so windows autopilot deployment profile is created successfully under assign we can see status is no that means the information is still not updated once the information update here we will see yes now go back to devices click on windows enrollment at top under windows autopilot deployment program click on devices take a look at the profile status of our windows 11 device this is the serial number a model group tag is not there but under profile status we can see it is assigning the status should be assigned but in our case we can see the profile status is assigning if status is not assigned then click on sync and wait for the sync process to finish but before we do that let me click on refresh and then again we will check the profile status first click on refresh it is still assigning so now i'm going to click on sync we can see the message sync is in progress check back again soon let's wait for the sync process to finish okay we have waited for around five minutes now let's click on refresh to see the updated information and now we can see the profile status is changed to assigned once the status is assigned we can proceed to the next step in the next step we want to assign an application to the same autopilot azure ad group for that click on apps click on all apps in this example we want to deploy Notepad++ application with autopilot deployment. Click on Notepad++. Under Manage, click on Properties. Click on Edit Assignments. Required apps are installed automatically on Android devices. So under Required, click on Add Groups. From the list, Select our Autopilot Test Device group named Autopilot Test Devices. Click on Select. Click on Review plus Save. Click on Save and wait for the confirmation message. Application saved successfully. Let's again check Autopilot Deployment Profile Status. Click on Devices. On the device enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. Click on Deployment Profiles. And here we can see Assign is changed to Yes. So that means this Windows Autopilot Deployment Profile is successfully assigned to our test device group. We are almost ready to start using Windows Autopilot for our Windows Autopilot deployments. Now that we have collected the device information from our target VM, deployed our autopilot profile and added application. It is simply a case of booting our VM to the out of box experience and allowing autopilot to do its thing which we will see in the next video. That's all for this video on how to create and configure an autopilot deployment profile with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.